Hey, so let's talk about how to form a Bible reading habit. Now, I love this because that's exactly what we are doing. We are forming a daily habit that we're going to have for the rest of our life. See, when we get into scripture, it's not something that we do like a road trip, right? When I was in college, I went on a road trip all the time. Maybe it was a day long, maybe it was a weekend long. You go there, you come back, trip over. That's not the way scripture is. It's not something you do, you figure out, you learn everything, and then you move on. It's a journey that you are going to go on for the rest of your life. It is an epic journey, and you're never going to come to the end of it. So what we need to figure out is, what is the daily steps in that epic journey look like? So with any habit that you're forming ever, the first thing you need to think about is time. When am I devoting to do this? And am I devo devoting myself to do it? every day? Is it five days a week? What does that really look like? So pick that time. Is it first thing when you wake up in the morning? Is it maybe if you're at work, it's what you're going to do over your lunch break? Is it the last thing you do before you go to bed at night? I got to tell you, this is going to change during different seasons of your life. Um, for me, when I was a young man, I used to do it before I went to bed at night. Now my, my mind is mush. I just, at nighttime, I want my bed. So now I do it first thing in the morning. This is going to change in different seasons of your life, but like what is the time that you're setting aside right here and right now? And maybe you should set an alarm. Maybe you should send yourself a calendar invite. This is something that you're trying to form a habit. So what is the time and how are you going to remind yourself to do it? Second thing is a place. You can't usually just read scripture anywhere. Sometimes you have to push away, even if it's a little bit. So if you live like in a college dorm room, maybe you're going to find one of those uh, rooms on the floor that's empty. And you're going to go isolate yourself there. Maybe you're going to wait till your, uh, your roommate's gone, or maybe you're going to go for a walk. But like you have to figure out that place that you're going to go to. If it's your lunch break, maybe you're going to go out to your car and just sit in your car for 30 minutes on your lunch break. The discernment, determine the time and the place so that you know every day, this is my routine, this is when I'm going, this is where I'm going. Now, it really is as simple as that personally, but I want to go one step farther. Here's another essential piece to the puzzle, is we are meant to live in community. And if you're out there all alone trying to study scripture by yourself, it's going to be extremely hard to form this as a habit. You need to be in community with other people that are reading scripture. This is why church is so important, but not just church, not just weekend church, but getting involved in a small group is so vitally important. So if you don't go to church, you need to start going to a church. And if you, uh, as you're picking a church, you need to find one with small groups. Now at our church, 242, that is the lifeblood of everything we do. We have small groups where people are coming together in groups of 10 to 12 people to try to study and understand scripture for themselves. It's just like working out. Man, if you work out by yourself, you might be successful because you're a super disciplined person. But there's a lot of us out there that need a community. We need brothers. We need sisters. We need people who are doing this with us. I guarantee you'll find it much easier to read scripture if you're forming a group. So wherever you're at, uh, find one or two people to read scripture with. Get involved in a church, get involved in a small group, and start reading scripture together, and it will become a habit in your life. Whatever you do, do it consistently, and I promise over time you will see God show up in big ways as you develop this habit in your life.